I'm here with reader Rob Leslie in Torrington, Devon for the next in our series of Britain's Best Rides in association with Bourbon Bikes and Halfords. And he's going to talk us through his 50 mile loop from Barnstable that takes in some great climbs, some beautiful beaches and a controversial statue. So Rob, tell us about your ride. Why is it so good? Why is it one of Britain's best rides? It's my favourite training ride. It's just fantastic. It goes through lovely countryside to practice your climbing. Then it takes you to fantastic coastal roads that, with a lovely hump bike between a couple of Victorian seaside resorts. Then down to one of the, the country's biggest surf beaches and then you're tootling along some lovely flatlands to the Tarka Trail. So quite a bit of this ride is off the beaten track and it's actually off-road, not off-road in a mountain bike sense, but traffic free on the Tarka Trail. Can you tell us a little bit about the Tarka Trail? What is it? Like a lot of Sustrans routes, is actually a converted disused railway line. And I'm in Devon, that's you know famous for cream teas. Am I going to find somewhere good to stop? Am I going to find some good food to eat? A cake stop, a, a coffee stop, they're really important to, to, to road riders. There's a fabulous cafe in Ilfracombe. It's owned by Damien Hurst. Lovely people work there and the coffee is delicious. Perfect for fuel for climbing the next climb out of Ilfracombe. I'm looking forward to the shark in formaldehyde. I hear that's a speciality. But I also hear there's a, um, a speciality in the curry houses around this, this neck of the woods. Uh, chicken tikka masala. What's that? It's like chicken tikka masala. It's just a little bit otter. So you're not from around these parts, are you? I can tell by your accent. E by gum there. But you're from Yorkshire, great riding there. Is the riding in Devon better than in Yorkshire? Yes. Really? Yes. So what am I going to enjoy most about tomorrow's ride? The descents, because some of the climbs are really hard. There's a couple of really hard bites to them, where you'll be feeling good on a couple of long climbs, then a couple of those, those steep, short ones will catch you out. So you really enjoy the descents, which take you down to some exhilarating views. So there's a 25% climb in this, in this route, isn't there? It's so hard that I can't even look down at my Garmin. I'm just, just struggling being there on a bike. I will be rewarded after I get up to the top of that. You guarantee that. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to smile. Oh, yeah. You'll have the ride of your life. So I'm in Barnstable, ready to take on Rob's ride. 50 miles, some gorgeous countryside has been promised. It's quite a tourist friendly area, so uh, very popular. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of A road, the A39 and some climbing. But then once we get onto the fringes of Exmoor, it's going to be stunning. So I've made it as far as Ilfracombe. I'm now standing in the shadow of a pretty controversial statue by Enfant Terrible, the modern art world, Damien Hirst. The ride has been pretty good, to be honest. It's been lumpy. The climbing started almost as soon as we left Barnstable and it hasn't really relented. It's been up and down, but there have been some fantastic descents. In particular, a sinuous, almost alpine drop down into Coombe Martin. That's a little village with a nice beach and Dave, the infamous dolphin. We didn't see him, but apparently he gives fish to people. Suddenly, the dolphin produced a 10 pound cod. The family said goodbye to Dolphin Dave and had cod for dinner that night. After Ilfracombe, we're going to move away from the A-roads onto some quiet country lanes and, I'm promised, a lot more climbing. Behind me is the surfer's paradise of Woolacombe. But to get to this point, I've had to ride up Chalicombe Hill, just outside the town. It's at 23% of its toughest point, and it is a hard climb, probably the hardest on the route. Before that, just after Wilfracombe, a nice traffic-free couple of miles on the Tarka Trail, and then a nice descent down to Morton Ho and into Woolacombe. There's no getting away from it. The roads here are a little bit busy today. It's tourist season. This is Devon. It's tourist central. Off season though, the roads promise to be lovely and quiet or just get up a little bit earlier and go for a nice morning ride. From here on, it's quiet country lanes to Georgium, Croyd, past Braunton and then back onto the Tarka Trail for the last stretch into Barnstable.
So the tide's out, but I'm back in Barnstable after riding Rob's 50 mile ride, and a pretty good one it was too. Lots of hills. It was on main roads for quite a bit of it, but they were quiet in places. It is tourist season, so they were a little bit busy at times, but off season and earlier in the day, I think those roads would be lovely. A really big hill coming out of Woolacom, 23% in places, that hurt. After that though, it was actually pretty much downhill all the way and very flat back into Barnsville on the traffic-free Tarka Trail. Just five miles, but lovely views of the estuary. A really nice ride, and of course, every good ride needs a good bit of scran at the end of it. We're in Devon, I've got a scone. Fortunately, we appear to have run out of cream. We're looking for Britain's best rides. If you think you've got one that can beat mine, send us your videos of no more than 60 seconds or photos with supporting words to a maximum of 200 to tell us why yours is a winner. If we think yours is one of the best, then we'll put it to the public vote. The winner will get a Boardman Performance Bike courtesy of Halfords. Not only that, every month, three lucky winners will get prizes from Halfords too.